All right, so check it out. I know a lot of y'all know this, but I'm gonna point a few things out to you, make this video real quick. I'm gonna hold y'all up. But um, I went off-roading this weekend, did a lot. Uh, throw through some dirt, a little bit of mud here and there, because y'all know I hate mud, but I had no choice. I had to go through it. So you know me, I'm like do a little checks every now and then, you know what I'm saying? So I came out here. I was gonna change my oil because the oil needed to be changed anyway. So I decided to pop my diff covers off, bought my fluid, everything they need to do to change it. That way I could look inside the diff cover, make sure I ain't got no mud up in there, make sure it ain't milky or nothing like that. And that's what I'm doing. It ain't that complicated. It's something y'all can do on your own, but I think a lot of people just afraid to get up under these things and do your own work. But I'm telling you, if you can change the oil, you can check your diff. It's just a few more boats. Yeah, quite a few more boats, yeah. A few more boats and a different procedure, but hey, you could do it too. And I'm gonna show you real quick what I got. So here's the front diff cover that I've taken off. As you can see, here's the gasket right here. Now me, I got these Yukon diff covers. But it doesn't matter because even if you got the stock diff covers, the gaskets are reusable. Just make sure, not this rag, but you take some clean towel or a clean rag or whatever you're using to clean with. Make sure you clean them off and clean your diff cover off before you stick it back on there. Now let me show you what I got going on on here real quick. This is this is my front diff. Here's my gears right here, my Revolution 538s. There's my Eaton E-Locker right there. And that's everything to it. You know, there's no milky substance in the fluid. It's coming out just like it was when I put it in. Just a little bit darker because it's been working. Hey, and that's what you want. There's no shavings in there. Well, at least none that I can feel. I shined a light back up in there. It didn't look like it was no gears broken or nothing. So, hey, it's been doing what it's supposed to do. Put some new fluid in there, bolt it back up to the right torque sequence, which is another thing you gotta make sure you gotta follow. Always know what your torque specs are. Always know what the sequence is so you can get this thing bolted back up right and you don't have a problem with the gasket being crooked or getting pinched or anything. Fill your fluid back up to the level and you're good to go. This is the front one. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bolt this thing back up fill it back up check the back one and we done now if you look right here here's the drain plug for these Yukon gear covers well the front one that I'm on and if you look at all this right here that's gear all that I waste when I was filling it now I usually don't waste that much I'm usually a little more careful but I need you to see it for a reason when you're filling these things back up you fill it up to the top right there and the easy way to know when you hit the when you fill it up to the edge of this right here is it'll start pouring out this is what it'll look like when it overflows it gets it all over the place so easy that was it i was gonna go back and show y'all the real one too but it's the same thing as the front pop your valve cover off if you got a drain plug on it use a drain plug if you don't doesn't matter start taking the cover loose let it drain take the cover off clean the cover clean the gasket they are reusable unless it's torn bad edges or something like that and of course get your new gasket put the cover back on tighten up in sequence tighten it to the specified torque fill it back up to the fill level which is right there some covers even have a, a little eyeglass in it but either way put it back up to the fill level and you should be good to go make sure you're using the right gear oil for your application also that's it didn't want to make this video real long want to go over real quick because i want to encourage everybody to get under your own vehicle get under there do some stuff learn how to work on your own rig you don't have to waste all that money taking it all to the shop unless there's something wrong with it you need an expert to put their eyes and hands on it but the goal is to learn your own vehicle and learn your own stuff so for my experts out there if you see something say something you got a comment you got a suggestion please by all means throw it in the comments box because you know what i say we all learn from each other right and for my beginners out there if you want to get up under your rig you want to do something but you're not sure about it ask the question put it down in the comments box maybe me or one of the experts out there will say something and help you out because what did i just say we learn from each other right so 
I gotta get out of here. I gotta get done. I got caught in the rain, so I gotta clean up all my tools because everything's wet. So I'm gonna catch y'all later on the next video. Y'all peace out. Y'all stay safe. Y'all go have fun and go change your life. Or help change somebody else's life. Peace out, y'all.